Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, my head's cut off. Now you guys are balancing on three candles right now. What's up guys, it's Kiana here. So in today's video, I thought I would go through the fall trends of 2021. See if I like them, if I don't like them, which ones I'll be rocking, which ones I won't be rocking. And I'm gonna share all of the tea with you guys. I'm going to put up a screen record, which is gonna be somewhere around over here. And we're just gonna go through different articles and see what they say, what are the trends for um, uh, this fall. <laughs> I work in retail, so I kinda can see like, what people are going to be wearing this year. I've seen a lot of sweater vests, I've seen a lot of browns, I've seen a lot of like platform shoes. Um, let's see what else. What else. That oversized trend is still like going on. Like you want to wear like stuff, stuff that you wore in the 90s, like baggy shorts, baggy jeans, baggy sweatshirts, over stuff like that. I'm just going to start a recording on my computer and we're just going to see which trends I like and which trends I don't. So let's look up Fall Trends 2021. Let's see, NYC style set is bit, betting big on these 11 fall trends. Okay, let's see what they're talking about. Okay, I think the first one is saturated shades I saw I see get away so I guess a lot of color is well I'm playing with my toes I'm sorry is you know being used in the fall when I think of fall I don't think of too much color um I like to stay within the the tans the browns the blacks the whites I may bring in like some greens or some blues um and even those colors are like very, very, very dark. So, I mean, I may partake in this trend, but yeah, who else? Metallics. That'll be a no for me. <laughs> I, the only, the only way I see myself wearing a metallic is if it's around the holidays, like Christmas time. I can't, no. Tonal, tonal, tonal tailoring. Ooh, yes, 100% yes. I see myself, especially the photo right here where uh, she's wearing a white button down and like some brown pants. That is really cute. Yes, I don't like, I feel like that's not like an everyday thing for me. Usually every day I'm wearing like a baby tee and some leggings or some uh, sweatpants. Oh, this right here, the y2k shades oh i am completely obsessed with those shades like we i remember going to our local flea market and there's a guy that sells them he has he has in so many different colors i need to go back and get some because the ones i had broke gen z what is gen i'm assuming gen z is a lot of like pattern so it says i am super excited about how the gen z and maximal maximalism trends will continue and thrive in the fall now that layers and outerwear are in the mix i can't wait to see more in inventive colors and patterns used to create fabulous fall looks so basically just using a lot of prints layering and all that um i can get down with this i like this set right here this is cute and i like the bucket hat that this person has on that purse well maybe not the purse I like my purchase plane because you know they go with everything. Cropped jackets. Yes, ma'am. I love a good cropped jacket. I've noticed uh, when I cleaned out my closet that I more so kind of like things that kind of sit here and not more so. I mean, I do like an oversized jacket, but I sometimes don't like an oversized jacket. But I do like cropped things, like, they're cute. Especially like if you want to show off your waist and your hips and stuff like that. Get one more off of this website and then Coat like blazers 100% 100% I did that last year. I would do that year-round honestly. It wasn't so fucking hot Like 
I would have the blazer and then I would have a like a dress, like a form fitting dress. Or like this person has it up with the dog. She has it with, you know, a cropped shirt and like some jeans and like a pair of boots. I have boots. Oh, yes, ma'am. I have two pair right now. I got a black pair from Nasty Al, and then I have like a cowboy, not cowboy, a snake print oh, cowboy. I got a snake print pair as well. I think they're, I think they're both from Nasty Al actually. Okay. We're gonna go on Pure Wow website. It's probably like the last one I'm gonna go on because I feel like most of these websites are gonna have the same thing on it anyways. So, okay, so the first one 90s revival 90s fashion has been enjoying a return to the spotlight for a few years now but this fall we expect the trend to go even further with folks rocking the decades staple looks from head to toe rather than using them in accent pieces i can this one right here with the dress and the graphic tee now if you would have asked me to wear that in 2017 i would have like yeah but no, uh, when I think about 90s revival, I think about, like I said earlier, the baggy pieces, like the baggy jeans, and um, the uh, baggy oversized jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts, all of that, and some boots or some sneakers. But yeah, I have this set from H&M. They have, they have like a 90s, not 90s revival, but like a 90s uh, trend for our denim section in H&M. And I have the matching pants and the jean jacket. Honestly, I'm gonna wear that shit now while it's hot. <laughs> I don't care. Loose fit denim. You see? Loose fit denim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has to be high waisted. Hands down. I don't like showing my stomach. I don't know what millennial does. <laughs> I don't see how we went through the era of low rise jeans. Like, how? I think they're so unflattering. You can't bend down without showing your ass crack. Sweater vests, said that as well. We have so many sweater vests in H&M right now. We have them in so many different colors, so many different patterns. It's insane. I used to like wearing... Why does it sound like someone's in my apartment? I'm the only one here. I think I actually own pay like two or three. I just don't know how to style them. I really want to know how to and how to make it look good on me. That's why I keep buying them when I shouldn't. I'm pretty sure there's someone out there, one of you guys can help me, please. Midriff bearing sets. Yeah, I can get down with this. I I think that during oh, excuse me, during the summertime this was a big thing, but it was more so with like spaghetti strap shirts. But now, like, I see with this lady in the middle, she has a long sleeve shirt on. Um, and then the other two ladies on the end, they have, like, a jacket over. So, if you have a set like this that was, that you had in the summertime, you can transition, tran if you had a set like this in the summertime, you can transition it into the fall just by adding, you know, like, layer pieces. Printed pants. Oh, my God. I feel like I saw some of this in like the summertime and I really want to get into that this fall like have just like a plain sweatshirt or a, a shirt or something and then like have the pants be a full moment I want some zebra pants so bad I am in the market for them you know how I said saturated hues is going to be a trend in the fall I would get that in a pair of pants let that be its full moment a statement all that so yeah Saturated hues for print pants. Make that a little baby. Puffy, quilted, and textured handbags. Yes, I have a bag. Actually, hold on. I have this bag from H&M. I don't really use it as a purse. I use it as like a computer bag. And then I have another one that's from H&M up there. Let me just, oh. I have this one is from h and it's like a little clutch purse and then i also have this one right here i got this one last year from h and I'm i want to be mentioning a lot of h and because i work there and i get a discount so maybe partaking in this i already am so 
All right, and the last one I'm going to go over is the Dark Cat Academy. I think the Heathers with the Punk Twist or Harry Potter for, but for chic adults instead of angsty teens. I'm gonna say no to this one. I'm not a big fan of the schoolgirl look. I like it on other people, just not me. I bought a skirt that's like in this like, what do you call this print? Houndstooth? I don't know. It's kind of print, but it's like blue, black, and white. And I tried it on, I was like, oh, this is kind of cute, but will I ever wear it outside of an Instagram photo? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all the trends I am going to go over with you guys today. So just to recap, a lot of color, baggy jeans, the puffy quilted purses, the platform shoes, printed pants, all of that. I definitely want to start, you know, pulling those pieces and putting them in my wardrobe. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and comment below which trend you are going to be rocking this fall. I would so like to know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I will see you guys next time.